really scramble it up. So, you know, definitely, you know, you want to hone your skills at that, you know, at, at that last part after you have that technology, you know, that technology uh, background down cold. We get a lot of people actually, uh, you know, who now we offer a 12 day boot camp. We had a lot of demand for it for a long time and we never did it. And then now we do it and it's like every one, you know, we're like sold out. I think, you know, September's got like one seat in it. We added one more seat in there. Uh, but the last one sold out. I mean, it's definitely, you know, people like that 12 day format where they come in for five days. And what we do is we go over the technologies from an advanced perspective for five full days. So it's more than what you saw in the technologies class. Uh, we're going over it hands on. You're doing labs, a little bit of lecture. And then, you know, the last part of the class, we spend doing a lot of mock labs and going over them. So people like that 12 day approach to get away from work for two weeks really improves and it's actually I can honestly say that we take assessments during that 12 day boot camp and I can honestly say it's amazing the people that improve in those 12 days the way they improve uh, you know in a quick time is 12 days you know and a lot of things we, we focus on how you ask your questions to the proctor what you should be concerned with you know and so forth there and that's really important you know it's something you don't pick up in, in a book or you know you don't pick up in uh, you know, from reading a workbook, you know, how do you ask the proctor a question? You know, how should, what should, should you be concerned with? And, it, you know, it's amazing to see people really improve. Their scores really improve. They come into the work, the 12 day boot camp. We give them an assessment. They score pretty low. At the end of the 12 days, they're scoring a lot better. You know, may, I've seen some people improve, you know, scoring 30, 35 points on a lab and they jump up to 60, 65 points on a lab, which is really good in, you know, in 12 days because, it, you know, they, they definitely become more in tune to what they should expect from a lab, you know, what questions they should be asking, what should they be, uh, be focusing on. You know, it works out really well. The last boot camp we had, like I think was uh, about two months ago, we've already had three of the students that, that have gone to lab have, have, have passed. So, you know, it's definitely really successful. They really think that it, it's, it's uh, a good approach. Like I said, we didn't do it for a long time. We wanted to stay away from the word boot camp. But, you know, 20% of that lab is strategy, is understanding what do you ask the proctor? How do I deal with this situation? How do I deal with this troubleshooting? You know, what, what, what's important about this task? What's not important about this task? How do I skip this? You know, well, or should I skip this? You know, that kind of, you know, you know, strategy, how do I make a plan? How do I tackle this lab? You know, how do you work on each lab is a little bit different. How you do one lab may be different than how you do another lab. You, know, you may go into the CCA lab and you may have eight points of switching. You, you may come back to the CCA lab after you, you know, because you, didn't, you weren't prepared, you didn't pass. You may come back to the lab, you may have 30 points of switching. Two totally different approaches. You know, at what point do you, should you have IP reachability with a lab with eight points of switching? You know, and you know, in a lot of routing, I guess a lab that's got 30 points of switching, maybe you know, a little bit of uh, IP routing, you know, complicated IP routing. So it's definitely a lot different, and, and it definitely helps to, for people to come to a boot camp and try to get that out out of there too. All right, but definitely, you know, make sure you're getting what you expect. You know, we you know, like we did have one person who came to the like the last boot camp. You know, we tell everybody attend the, the technology class or watch the technologies class on demand. We tell them to watch it before they come. And you know, we had one person that didn't and you can tell by looking at that score reports from their mock labs that they did not know the technologies and they know it too. So you definitely get more out of a boot camp style class if you go to, you know, if, if you've got a solid foundation on those technologies. But don't try to think you can go to a class and get everything you need. Don't think the instructor is going to risk his career to brain dump you some NDA questions, some questions that are against the NDA, I should say. Don't think that's going to happen. All right, definitely not going to happen. Um, one more slide here real quick before we take questions here. I want to mention uh, we did some changes too about our investment protection program. You get electronic upgrades free of charge automatically without asking for life, meaning that as long as you have an account with us, your account would automatically be updated with the new versions. I mean, if you bought the workbook and six months from now, Cisco changes the lab, you get the new version free. The printed upgrades are about, I think it's like 17.5% of the, the product's list price. So if you want a new printed version, let's say you bought the workbook today, Cisco announces changes for 2008 tomorrow, 
Well, you know, you can get well if you if you if you bought it today and they announce it tomorrow, we'll probably make out something special for you. But if you bought it a year ago and they uh, changed the lab now, and so in 2008, late 2007, when we released the new workbook, if you want a new printed copy, it's like 17.5 percent. Same thing on the classes. You can retake the class. You know, we have people. I see I see people in some classes three times. They'll retake the class, and and part of the the the, the reason they retake the class is. Uh, they know that class is dynamic, meaning that they know I'm going to do route distribution or I'm going to do multicast a little bit different in each class. So hey, if they're not solid with multicast and they want to see things done a little bit different, you know, they'll go to uh, they'll reattend the class. You know, that's free of charge. If you say, hey, I took your technology class and you know I'm, I'm really rusty on multicast, I want to drop in on your multicast uh, week one and you know or week two whenever you uh, rerun it, perfectly fine. Or I want to you know reset the whole class. That's perfectly fine. If the if the class involves equipment, there's a limited number of seats, um, and what we've done for people when those seats fill up, you know, we, we, we reserve a, a few seats for people to retake, like the mock lab workshop for each class. But if those seats fill up and someone still wants to take it because they want to really take the real lab, what we're able to do is we usually talk to or like a rack vendor, and what we'll do is we'll get them access to a rack rental for like four or five hundred bucks. I think it's actually less than that. I think it's like three hundred bucks for them to rent a rack for a week to you know to retake the mock lab class. We do that with like uh, rack time rentals. We've done that a few times when we had overflow for people who want to reset. So we work something out there. All right. One of the big things too is we don't make you go to the lab and fail, and we don't do marketing, meaning that we'll say that we'll let you reset the class, but there's really only one seat, and of course that seat's taken up three, four, five classes in advance. You know, we will we, we will work something out to accommodate people. Um, you know, we've had times where we have up to three or four people retaking a class. You know, we, we try to be really flexible. We understand, you know, this is a big investment. It's very stressful for people to go through their lab preparation. So we're not gonna, you know, try to spend business on you or fancy marketing on our investment protection on you there. But we'll definitely try to work with you to make sure you get what you need to pass the lab. That being said, too, I will I will mention that um, you'll be amazed at the amount of product that we give away at, at a discount to people in hard luck situations, to people in the military, to people in college, to people in you know developing countries. Um, we give away, I would say, on average, probably a half a million dollars worth of training a year to you know discounted training. You know, to people in you know developing countries, be it Pakistan, India, um, different countries, um, you know, in, in you know in people in hard luck situations, people lost their job, you know, and you know, they got 500 bucks to spend, you know, for the CCIE, and they got the lab attempt. You know, we definitely try. You know, it's it's a tough balance. I like to say that the reason we come out with this investment protection is because we want to show you that we're committed. The competitors try to copy us. Why? Because it's highly successful. Because they're saying, why would I go to you if Internet Network Expert says they will let me reset the class? They will give me free updates. They're committed to me. You know, other companies now want to copy the course. Why? Because the customers demand it. You know, they know you're investing a lot of money and a lot of time in preparing for the CCA lab, and the, and we want to see you be successful. We want to see your name on our website. We want to see that email coming back from you saying, "Hey, thanks, I passed the lab." You know, we we want to see that. We wish we could get a, a, a cut of the money that you get when you get your raise for the CCA, but you know, we definitely <laughs> uh, just kidding, of course. But you know, we definitely want to uh, you know see you pass. It's definitely you know we like to see people. Uh, you know, because you know the CCA lab is li is life changing. Basically, you know, it's like getting a degree in college. You know, when you pass that lab, man, I, I can't tell you what it feels like to walk out of that lab. You know, to walk out of that lab and feel like, hey, you know, I, I've really accomplished something. So, you know, understand that. You know, when you look at us in the market and you say, you know, hey, you know, Internet Experts website, not as fancy as website company X. You know, we don't have big marketing. We don't have you know big fancy. You know. Uh, websites and stuff because you know like I said we're trying you know it's a tough balance to run a business and run and make money you know you know one of the things we do like I said is the the Dynamax workbook we're gonna every quarter take a percentage of that workbook sales and, and donate it back to the people who develop you know Dynamax so you know I mean definitely you know look at the investment protection program and understand where it's coming from it's not a marketing spin it's not a you know it's it's showing that we're committed 